Celexa is an SSRI that is most commonly used to treat major depressive disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder, but it's also likely helpful for anxiety as well. The starting dose is typically 20 milligrams a day and can go up to as 40 milligrams a day for a major depressive disorder or as high as to 60 milligrams a day in obsessive compulsive disorder. It's a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor, so the medication when it's ingested, the end goal is believed to increase the body's response to serotonin, and it does this by increasing the amount of serotonin in the space between the synapse and its receptor, so that more serotonin molecules will bind to the receptor. When more serotonin binds here, it'll send signals to the rest of the brain and body that there is more serotonin, which helps with mood, keep one calm, etc. So this process is believed to take up to a few weeks, if not a few months, because it makes changes to one's DNA, which will hopefully lead to a steady state of calmness and improvement in mood. As with all antidepressants, Celexa can increase the risk of suicide in people under the 24, but for the most part, it helps protect against suicide because it increases the serotonin levels, and they find that People who have higher serotonin levels are less likely to commit suicide than people with lower serotonin levels in the body. It can also lead to this condition called serotonin syndrome in which there's too much serotonin in the body that causes someone to get dehydrated, feel weak, sweaty, diarrhea, uh, maybe they get shaking or confused and they need to stop the medication, oftentimes be admitted to the hospital and get IV fluids. Interestingly, the body has the most amount of serotonin in the intestinal system, and this is where the most common side effects occur. Side effects include using nausea, constipation, diarrhea. Usually after a few days, those will go away. Other unique cautions about Celexa is that as one ages, so does their sensitivity to this medication. So as one ages, maybe above the age of 40, maybe for some people above 60, you don't wanna go above 20 milligrams because the risk of affecting the heart electrical activity gets higher and it can make someone's chances increase of having an abnormal electrical activity of the heart and get like a heart attack or an arrhythmia. This would be especially true if someone is taking antibiotic medications. But I don't want to scare you for the most part Celexa can be effective, doesn't have major side effects. Just like with all SSRIs, there can be a chance of sexual side effects like an ability to orgasm or delayed ejaculation with this type of medication. 